Warning, major spoilers for the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 are in this video. If you've not yet fully completed Chapter 6, it's in your best interest to click off this video right now. Hello everyone, so I did it. After over 3 months, I finally finished the ending of Red Dead Redemption 2 and it was just perfect. Everything about it was perfect and it was a brilliant way to end this masterpiece of a game. Now I haven't fully completed it as I still have the epilogue 1 and the epilogue 2 to do, but the main bulk of the story, as far as I'm aware of, is done. In this video, I'll go over what happened and why I think it was such a beautiful ending. So, I won't go into too much detail about what happens as I hope that everyone who's watching has already done it, and I'll only mention the main events to give a refresher. So, the mission My Last Boy starts out with Eagle Flies and several other American Indians, as well as several members of the Vandalin Gang, raiding Cornwall, Kerosene and Tar. When Dutch and Arthur are escaping the building, Arthur is captured by a few soldiers, and when Dutch sees this, he walks away, abandoning Arthur. Eagle Flies comes rushing in to rescue Arthur. However, Colonel Ferris comes in and shoots Eagle Flies, fatally wounding him. And, too late, Arthur shoots Colonel Ferris, killing him. Arthur and Charles return Eagle Flies to Rain's Fallen Wapiti, and Eagle Flies is laid down to die. Charles decides to stay at Wapiti, and Arthur leaves. When Arthur returns to Dutch at camp, Dutch says that the gang just need to do one more big score, and then, then they can slip away. He decides that they are going to rob a train, filled with money. After they rob the train and jump off it, Arthur asks Dutch where John is, to which Dutch replies that although he tried, John was killed. Arthur, lost for words, mounts his horse and follows the gang. When they come near camp, Tilly, with Jack on her horse, rides out and tells the gang that the Pinkertons took Abigail to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. Dutch tells Arthur and the rest of the gang that they must forget about her and keep riding. At this, Arthur is outraged and decides to save Abigail with Sadie. When they arrive there, Sadie runs through Van Horn with Arthur covering her, up in the lighthouse, to try to save Abigail. However, Sadie is caught by Agent Milton and Arthur rushes down there himself to save the two of them. When Arthur enters the building and tries to cut Abigail loose, Agent Milton appears from behind, with a revolver pointing at him. He reveals to Arthur that Molly O'Shea had never talked a word, and it had been Micah who was the rat. Arthur tries to grab Milton's gun, but as he is a dying man, his strength is not what it used to be, and Milton overpowers him. And just when it seems as though Arthur is going to get shot, Abigail shoots Milton in the head, saving Arthur. They flee Van Horn, and after they lose the men chasing them, Arthur tells Abigail and Sadie to hold up a moment. After Abigail asks them, Arthur reluctantly tells her that John was killed or captured. After a heartfelt conversation, Abigail gives Arthur the key to Dutch's chest of money. While Arthur rides back to camp, a beautiful song plays, and depending on your honour, the song will have a gloomy or a powerful tone. Quotes will also be repeated to Arthur in his head that are either quotes from your honourable actions or quotes from your dishonourable actions, depending on your honour. When Arthur returns to camp, he confronts everyone and tells Dutch about Micah and Agent Milton. Micah denies it and draws his gun on Arthur, who also draws his gun. John emerges from the trees, accusing Dutch of leaving him to die. Miss Grimshaw sides with Arthur, and when Javier comes running to tell them all that the Pinkertons are coming, Micah takes this opportunity of Miss Grimshaw's distraction and shoots her. Dutch draws his guns and demands who is with him and who is betraying him. Bill, Javier, Micah, Cleet and Joe all side with Dutch, leaving John and Arthur to themselves. Suddenly, more lawmen arrive, and what's left of the gang scatters. John and Arthur go into the caves and escape up a ladder at the end of them. While escaping on horseback, both of their horses are shot, and Arthur emotionally thanks his horse for the last time, as he caresses it. Arthur tells John about the money in Dutch's chest. John says that he must go to his family. You then have the choice to either help John get to safety, or return for the money. I chose to help John. John and Arthur run up the mountain, and eventually Arthur stops. He tells John that they're not both going to make it, and he gives his hat, satchel, and one of his revolvers to John. Arthur tells him to go to his family, and he holds off the rest of the Pinkertons to help John escape. Out of nowhere, Micah tackles Arthur and engages him in a fist fight. After a long fight, Arthur slowly crawls to his gun, but when he finally reaches it, Dutch appears and steps on his hand, stopping him, telling Arthur that it is over now. Arthur, dying, tells Dutch once again that Micah is a rat, and that Arthur gave Dutch all he had. Micah tries to convince Dutch to come with him, but they both walk away from Arthur. Arthur slowly crawls to a higher point in the ridge and looks out to the sun rising. 
dying. I deserved peaceful death. As I have mentioned in my Red Dead Redemption 2 review, Your Honor affects the dialogue of Arthur. However, Your Honor is way more significant in the ending, as Your Honor affects the entire last scene, after you help John or go for the money. There are four different endings to Red Dead Redemption 2, depending on if you have high honor or low honor, and if you help John get to safety or return for the money. The ending I just described was the ending I got, because I had high honor and I helped John. It is, in my opinion, by far the best ending. If you have low honor but help John, the scene will be the exact same, but Micah will not leave in anger, and will instead shoot Arthur in the head, laugh evilly, and spit on Arthur's corpse as he walks away proudly. If you have high honor but go back for the money, Micah will still engage you in a fist fight, but this time Arthur manages to blind him in his left eye by slashing him with a knife, and when Micah tackles Arthur and attempts to stab him, Arthur bites him in the hand and punches him in the face. Dutch breaks them up, and after Arthur repeats that Micah is a rat, Dutch walks away, and a bit later, so does Micah, picking up a money bag as he walks away from Arthur, leaving him to die as the sun rises through the trees. If you have low honour, but go back for the money, Arthur doesn't blind Micah's eye, and doesn't get Micah off him, and Micah manages to stab him in the chest. Dutch breaks them up, Arthur tells Dutch that Micah is a rat, Dutch leaves, and Micah stabs Arthur in the back. Arthur's spear animal will also appear after he dies in each of these scenes. If he is low honor, a wolf will appear in dark lighting, but if he is high honor, a book will appear in bright, golden lighting. I picked Saving John, because I think it made more sense to do, as Arthur is a dying man and wouldn't need the money. He is also trying to redeem himself as his death approaches him, and I think it would make more sense for him to help his friend. So, I got Arthur's death spoils for me around the beginning of the game, but I think everyone knew he was going to die soon, ever since he got diagnosed with tuberculosis, and I'm actually glad that I knew, because since I don't know how he's going to die, it created so much tension throughout the last three missions you play as Arthur. He could have died when the soldiers captured him at Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, when he was up at the lighthouse in Van Horn, when Mr. Milton's going to shoot him, when he had the standoff with the gang at Beaver Hollow, and this made the ending so much more exciting for me. There are so many twists and it was such a roller coaster of emotions. I knew there was something wrong with Micah, but I never really suspected him to be anything other than a murderous psychopath, and when he was revealed to be a rat, everything seemed much clearer. It also really surprised me when Dutch first left Arthur. I started losing faith in him ever since around the end of chapter 4, but I have never thought he would have done something so treacherous that completely went against what he stood for, loyalty. I absolutely loved the scene where Arthur put on his classic hat and rode back to camp one last time, as that's the way it is to earn playing and the honourable flashbacks of people all the way back to chapter 2 repeating Arthur's head. It was such a sad yet impactful scene, and I had goosebumps all over throughout it. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. Arthur's death at the top of the mountain was also an amazing and deserved way for him to die, and I'm very glad that I had high honour at the ending, as it is just way better than the low honour endings, where Arthur ends up getting killed by Micah. Arthur is without a doubt my favourite protagonist of all time, and I'm thinking of making an entire video describing why I think he's such a likeable protagonist. On the other hand, Dush and Micah are very dislikable antagonists, although I think they are both amazing characters. Although it was sad for me to see Dutch spiral out of control in the later chapters. Now I'm playing as John in the epilogue, and out of all the gang members to play as, I'm happy that I'm playing as him, because I really got attached to him in chapter 6 when him and Arthur started to share a very strong bond. But I really am going to miss playing as Arthur, as good as John is. I'm also really enjoying exploring the newly discovered state of New Austin, as there are new gangs, towns and animals to find out about, and it is also a very beautiful state to roam. I'm very glad that Rockstar added an epilogue and opened the state of New Austin to the player, as the story wouldn't just end suddenly, and there's still much to do. And although Rockstar kinda had to do an epilogue since Arthur died, and they needed someone new to play as, I'm still very happy that they did. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. 
So, in conclusion, I adored the ending of Red Dead Redemption 2. It was absolutely perfect. I'm also very glad that I took my time with the story, instead of rushing through it, because it made me feel way more immersed in the stunning world of Red Dead Redemption 2, and made the ending so much more impactful and real. At the moment, I'm nearly finished Epilogue 1, and it's been alright, but I want more action-packed missions, instead of just working at a farm, and I hope I reunite with some of the old camp members in the future Epilogue missions, as I think it'll be very interesting to see what they've been up to since the gang divided, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the epilogue plays out. I just hope that ends peacefully, as I think John has been through enough trauma and the last few chapters went downhill very quickly for him and the gang. Ew. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave it a like, and if you didn't, please leave it a dislike, and tell me why in the comments. As I said earlier, I'm considering making a video on why Arthur Morgan is my favourite character of all time, but if there are any other Red Dead Redemption 2 themed video that you'd like to see me make, such as a guide like last time, be sure to comment it down below, and I'll definitely make a video on it. I have a lot of other Red Dead Redemption 2 themed videos planned, and now is the perfect time to get my head down and start working on them, since we're all in quarantine I have so much more free time. So expect more videos soon enough. If you have Instagram, you can follow me at RonbackYT. Again, thanks so much for watching and take care of yourselves. The many miles we walk The many things we learn The building of a shrine